I cannot really remember a time in my entire life going back to childhood when I didn't see the director of the Hurricane Center position as being a career goal. And I embraced the role with open arms. I worked at the Hurricane Center long enough to know what I'm getting myself into. And it is, it is a, a large responsibility, but I'm not going to be doing it alone. There's a very talented staff down at the Hurricane Center. And we work with partners throughout the Weather Service and NOAA, emergency managers and the media. So you don't work in a vacuum in that job, but it's a big job. And I look forward to it. And I will say, too, that it's pretty much the only job that would have taken me away from the Weather Channel here where I've really enjoyed working. The United States has been relatively fortunate in recent years, despite significant impacts from hurricanes like Irene and Ike, that we haven't had a Category 3 or stronger major hurricane on the Saffir Simpson hurricane wind scale strike in many years. And in many places, it's been decades since a significant hurricane has struck. So many people have never been through a significant hurricane and might not be as motivated to prepare. And they really need to do so. And from the position that I'll be in as director of the National Hurricane Center, you will hear me say over and over, like a broken record, how important it is to prepare well in advance for the next hurricane. And of course, when one's on our doorstep, I'll be doing my part to give people information that could save their lives and to support the instructions coming from local emergency managers.